I prefer to be someone who has to confront his many fears instead of someone who has the illusion he doesn't fear anything. Nothing can be good if you do it for money or for fame. I learned that if a relationship is honest, it can last through anything despite all the challenges we have to face and everything that happens around us. In public, I hardly ever show feelings. That's what happens when everything you do is put under a magnifying glass. But if you've spent some time hiding behind your public mask, and you're back in your own environment, then all that suppressed emotion still has to be set loose. As a result, you are going to behave like a nutcase. I think that's why so many people who are famous go nuts. I'm trying to make something every time that feels new and surprises people. Hopefully at least one person. But it's not like I turn it off. I don't make a movie and then go back to my normal life. When I'm finishing one movie the next day I'm thinking about the next one. I think pretty much all people who love each other had some kind of thing at first sight. I mean, there has to be some kind of moment where you, like, feel a different energy around someone. I don't want people to hate me. I basically do whatever I want. But one of the aspects of what I want is, I want people to like me. It's not necessarily that satisfying getting monetary success, but sometimes it keeps the door open to make what you want to make. I can't see any advantage to fame. I'm happy with the life I have now. I've got the same two friends I've had since I was 12, and I can't see that changing. I can't remember who said it, but a soul in a heaven must exist because good people aren't rewarded enough on earth. I always liked that idea, if that makes sense. I can't say I prefer blondes brunettes, or redheads. I like emotion and elegance. Even expensive clothes do not guarantee a good look. You must be yourself above all. I had a stalker while filming a movie in Spain last year. She stood outside my apartment every day for weeks, all day, every day. I was so bored and lonely that I went out and had dinner with her. I just complained about everything in my life and she never came back. If you find a girl who reads, keeps her close. When you find her up at 2 a.m. clutching a book to her chest and weeping, make her a cup of tea, coffee, and hold her. You may lose her for a couple of hours but she will always come back to you. She'll talk as if the characters in the book are real because, for a while, they always are. Date a girl who reads because you deserve it. You deserve a girl who can give you the most colorful life imaginable. I was only given this life because I'm strong enough to live it. I see love as an evolution of true friendship. I'm always shocked by the people who I'm attracted to. It's always completely random. I generally like people who are a bit crazy but yeah, that's pretty much my only prerequisite. I guess I had to learn how to run properly. I spent a lot of time on a giant treadmill, like one of those wheels mice run around on, and got filmed doing it to improve my form. What worries me the most is that I don't know when my patience will run out, when I'll finally do something really stupid. Wait and see. 
I don't think anyone can understand what's happening. Something like this is so rare. It's a mix of chance and coincidence. You wake up one day and you're suddenly a star. Really weird. All of a sudden everyone knows who you are while you haven't changed one bit. Everyone used to chuck snails at each other at school, and I used to try and save them. And not only did I get in trouble for it, I got suspended for doing it. For saving the snails I kept about four or five hundred of them at the back of the class, in snail land. We were like six or seven or something, people didn't even realize what they were doing. I had a strange compassion for snails. And the teacher just chucked them all in the trash in the end. 